What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to teach you how to save and load players positions. Now we're going to use um, SQLite, so it's actually building the SAMP, so we don't need any includes or plugins. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to define a location for the database. So we'll go new um, server database positions.db. And uh, this will work as a standalone filter script um, th that will automatically save and load the position. So if you follow along, it should work perfectly for you. So the next thing we need to do is um, uh, define some new DB variables. So we go new DB server database and then new DB result database result. And now what we're, what we're going to do is we're going to create an enum to store the player's position in. So we'll go enum player data. And then player, uh, we're going to go float player x. And then we can copy that and go x, y, z, a. x, y, z, a. Because we're going we're to save their face angle and their position. So like it, it looks it looks right. So we'll go player interior uh, and then player world. And what we'll do is we'll create a boolean. To check if, because uh, we we've got to check what the, what their first spawn is to set their last position from where they was. So we'll go like that, and then we'll create a new uh, variable for the play data. All right, guys, that's an enum. All right. So the first thing we've got to do is go to on filter script in it, and we've got to actually open the database. So I'll grab this quickly. I'll explain it in a second. So. This actually opens the database and then um, we create the table if it doesn't exist. What we're going to do is we're going to save their name, their X, Y, Z, A position, their interior and their world. So that's all you really need for positions. And um, whenever you open up the database, always um, always close the database like so. So um, under on filter script in it, um, exit, always close the database under on filter script exit. And then um, what, what we're going to do is... Um, do a check under on on player connect and we'll go like this so what what we need to do is we need to select all from positions where name um, equals that and we use Calo in no case um, just so you know someone that has a name like this uh, another another uh, player can't go like this sort of thing and then have a have another account and like both of these will be for that same account so that's a little trick for Cal8 no case for that. And then always use Q instead of uh, S for, for strings or if you want to escape them. Um, all right, so the first thing we're going to do is if the if it does exist, they're in the database, we need to we need to load their, their data. So we'll go X, Y, Z, A. So X, Y, Z, A. And now we're going to get their interior, which is like the uh, like that's a float string for all the floats, and then it's um, a, a string value for the for for um, numbers. So we'll go um, interior here, and then we'll go world. So that's uh, loading their data. And then what we do, if it doesn't exist, we um, we insert their data. So the first thing we've got to actually do here is uh, reset the data. You can actually, um, the, this is where you can define a, a default location because we've got to be able to insert something in, into the into the database. And um, you, you can put a default spawn in here just in case they connect and don't actually spawn because we're going to be using a function to check if they're spawned and then save the data because we don't want, we don't want to save their position and their interior when they're inside the um, like class selection or something like that. So we'll go X, Y, Z, A, and we'll go their interior, we'll do it as zero, and then their world. And then we'll set the boolean is spawned. Like it will, it will be um, false by default, but we'll just we'll, we'll set it here. So false. That's for later. And all right, now we're saving the data, and now we are. This is where we insert the data. So we go x, y, z, a, x, y, z, a. And then we go interior and the world. 
material well all right so that um name name x y z a interior world all right so that's inserting the data all right so now um what we're going to do is i'll, I'll get some more more space here so now we've um got got their data we can set their position but first we've got to check if it's their first spawn because you don't want to be setting their their last position from the database every time they they respawn because if they die and then respawn you don't want to be setting it twice so we'll go if that equals false this is uh where we, where we set the data but we'll set that back to we'll set this to true so it won't happen again and then we'll go set player false player id and then we go x y z and then we go set player facing angle all right and then all we've got to do is set their interior and world All right. All right. So now we've done that. Um, now, now we're actually setting the player's position and loading it from like what? What do we got here? Um, undefined symbol. Player spawn. Get name. It doesn't. Ha it doesn't have that function. So what we'll do is we'll create that here. Stock. All right. Now we've got that. Uh, that just gets the player's name. What else we got here? 57, no field. All right, we've got to actually declare a field here. So we'll go to field, we'll just make it 64. And there we go, that compiles. So now we're loading the position, we're inserting it if, it, if, it, if, it's, um, if they haven't, if they're not in the database already. And then we're loading their position um, only once under on player spawn. So now what we're going to do next is we're going to go here. I'm going to, I've got a function here. Um, that I'm going to put in the uh, in the description that you need. So just grab that and whack that here. That just checks if the player spawned because we need to check if the player spawned, um, and then and then update the data because we don't want to um, update their position, save their position, or get their position, then save it if they're um, you know in, in the class selection or something they haven't actually spawned yet. So if is player spawned, we'll go like that, and then. This is where we update the data. We'll just grab that quickly. So, um, so we just update the X, Y, Z, A, interior and world, where name equals that. So we'll go X, Y, Z, A, interior world. Oh wait, no, actually we got to We've got to get their get their position here. So new float pos four, and then we'll go get player pos. Then we go get player facing angle. All right. So this is where we save the x y z and a. So x y z a, and then get player interior player ID then get player virtual world and that should be fine uh, we need a, a display query so we'll go query 300 that should be enough cells and uh, let's see if that compiles yep so there we go now we're updating the data so we're updating the xyza xyza their interior and their world where the name equals that all right so everything looks good and what we do um we just do the exact same thing under on player def but without checking if they're spawn and uh yeah like we're doing under on player def just in case they um they die and then with their in class selection and then disconnect and it won't work here we actually save their last position as where they died so uh that looks about it guys we'll we'll just compile that and that's the end of the tutorial guys that's how easy it is to save and load players positions um i'll, I'll be making sure this works so, so check the description if there's any bug fixes um like and, and i'll list them in there but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the, the tutorial let me know if there's any other tutorials you'd like me to do in the comments and i'll get around and do them hope you enjoyed the video guys please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace